Yo, what's good guys? So, it's been a little while. I am back with episode 3 of the health series. Uh, we wanted to discuss ubiquinol today. Um, I'm going to do a little bit different today because what I've done is actually I've done a bit more research into articles. So what I'm going to do is actually take extracts from articles, pass over the information directly. Um, these are things you can find online that are really helpful. Um, from a glance, ubiquinol is very good for heart health. Um, I usually use 100 milligram a day, but 200 milligram to 300 has been proven even more effective. Um, it's not the cheapest product, but it is a great product nonetheless. So uh, it's essential for the heart. It's, it's not a vitamin nor a mineral. CoQ10 is known as ubiquinone uh, because of its ubiquitous distribution throughout the body. CoQ10 is found in every single cell, concentrated in particular structures called the mitochondria. The mitochondria are the cell's headquarters for energy production and fat burning and CoQ10 plays a vital role in these activities. So that's just, uh, you know, the brief kind of introduction to CoQ10. Uh, the majority of research on CoQ10 has looked at its sub uh, substantial benefits for the heart. Heart tissue contains the highest concentration of CoQ10 in the body. In Europe, CoQ10 is an accepted uh, adjunct treatment for congenitive heart failure. CoQ10 is also amazingly effective antioxidant. So, like I said before I even read that, you know, I, it's, a, it's something that I supplement because on from my understanding, you know, it's one of the best supplements for heart health. Um, I knew this years ago. I didn't really go into the details as to why because sometimes you just don't need to. So that's the purpose of today is to have a look at why it is so good. Um, CoQ10 concentration in the human brain is relatively low and that is believed to be because of the higher rate of oxidative stress on the brain. Uh, oxidative stress damage from free radicals is a significant feature of many degenerative diseases and is a part of the reason we deteriorate as we age. Now researchers are looking at the possibility of protective role of CoQ10 in the development of diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. A recent study in a journal of behavioral brain research concluded that CoQ10 could possibly play a role in the prevention of a devastating disease, Alzheimer's. The research investigated what happens when you supplement the diets of rats who suffer from brain impairment brought about by oxidative stress, also known as oxidization. Researchers felt this could serve as a preliminary model of Alzheimer's. The study showed a significant improvement in cognitive function. So that's very interesting. The benefits of CoQ10 are also being explored in relation to diabetes, cancer, breast, lung and prostate, male infertility and kidney failure. So the list goes on, it's, uh, it's a pretty extreme uh, product. So that's just like kind of the health background, but let's look at like bodybuilding now, because in bodybuilding, a dose of 300 milligrams a day is meant to improve the um, production of ATP. So there was a significant difference between 200 to 300 milligram. So that additional 100 milligram forced um, a massive change in the increase in ATP, adenosine triphosphate energy. So for a bodybuilder, you don't want to just take this for, you know, the heart health and the possibility that it could um, prevent the onset of diseases such as Alzheimer's but you actually want to use it for ATP as well. So uh, a good thing to stack this with would be say D-ribose powder. You could put five grams of D-ribose powder in your uh, intra workout or your post workout. Take one of these post workout or take one of these before you train. It doesn't really matter as long as you're taking it and supplementing it during the day. Um, maybe do 100 in the morning, 100 midday, 100 night. So 300 milligram of ubiquinol would increase ATP production. So for a bodybuilder, bearing in mind this is a bodybuilding series, that is why I would dose at such a high level. For general health, 100 milligram a day. This particular brand is available on Amazon. It's a great product. I've been using it for a while. Um, yeah, relatively decent price, I think probably about 35 pounds. Uh, this is 100% pure Kaneka Ubiquinol. So it's a patent enhanced stability, enhanced absorption formula, and it promotes heart health and energy production, as we have mentioned. So these are 100 milligram, you get, um, how many do you get in a pot? Uh, 60. So if you were doing three a day, you get 20 days worth, um, is my suggestion. So dose up, get your ubiquinol in, look after your heart, produce more ATP, kill it. Peace out.